So we have rolled into Richmond. Doug's got a serious look on his face. One generator has bit the dust on us. We have a rental here. So what we got going is wiring 101. We've been on wiring for dummies. We got Zane doing it. That's not, that don't mean he's a dummy, but. Uh, Thank you, Clab. <laughs> we're all just trying to double check what we're doing here and trying to get a little power going. It's always something. Generators, trailers, a lot of time are your biggest uh, issue. Getting to the racetrack can be a challenge. Getting here was fine, but we have no power. Look at there, we did it right. We have lights, it works. Yeah. Good job. Woo. She's running, wired, no fire. We got electricity. Woo. Uh, here, we don't know what we're gonna get um, today. I know NHRA will have do everything they can that if we get a window that they want to get us up there to run. So we'll do what we can to like make sure that we're ready. Um, I'll do what I can to make sure that um, I give you guys, you know, a gasket call and everything so we can put this thing together and, and we'll just be ready. So the following video you're about to see here happened in Australia this past week. It is the Reed Racing Team, Top Fuel Dragster. We tell our kids all the time how dangerous it is to be around these cars. And you're going to see that and Jimmo talking to our team about what happened and how to prevent it. It's a bad, ugly thing. That's Bruce Reed on the right, the team's racing crew chief. His cap blows off and he takes a moment to compose himself, stunned by what has just happened. I copped a little torching myself. I knew exactly what happened and I was more cranky than anything. We have a process where we, we, we just turn the motor over to get a little bit of oil pressure and to clear all the cylinders. And I pulled the trigger and bang. But, um, you know, I talked with him Saturday morning, you know, because I didn't know what had happened. I knew that there were people in the hospital and stuff. So, you know, once I finally talked to Bruce and I, then I started seeing the videos, you know, about what happened, you know, it really like brings the safety uh, of these cars back into focus. And, um, and it doesn't matter if it's just sitting here in the pits and we're getting ready to warm it up or we're on the starting line, we're clearing the motor over. These things are dangerous and they're dangerous. We put nitromethane in them. You know, obviously that's where all the horsepower comes from in one of these cars. But, you know, in, in Bruce's case, they do everything that that we do. You know, they warm the car up, you know, they, they uh, crack the line, they, they drop the car down, they drain those back lines. And I told Bruce, the only thing that could have happened is that number seven cylinder filled up with fuel. And when he went to spin it over, it just hydraulic and it blew up. And, um, you know, and I, um, I'm thankful that, you know, none of those guys got hurt seriously. Gus um, was the worst one. He had a, a gash on his hand. He's probably going to require another surgery. They're all fired up about going to their next race, which is not this weekend, but the following weekend. But everybody's okay, you know, which is, thank God. Um, looking at the damage from what they had it's like amazing that nobody got seriously hurt and um so with that that's just something that we need to as a team always make sure that you know we follow through on those procedures best we can just to give you an example of how violent that was um you know gus he got blown back on the one side and the, the carbon injector i guess is what put a gash in his hand Bruce, he was, he got, you know, flash burned and says he's missing eyebrows and nose hair now. The, jet, the kid that was next to him, you know, he got a flash burn. Bruce's son, Adam, was back, I believe, doing the tire. Same thing, you know, like a flash burn. The kid that was sitting on the golf cart, he had earphones on. It blew his earphones off and lacerated his ears off. Um, so that just kind of shows you how violent these things can be, you know, when something like that happens. Um, destroyed the block. I was showing Lance a picture this morning of the um, number seven cylinder. It blew the sleeve and that part of the block out. It jacked the head up. It dented the frame rail. It bent the motor plate and it bent the bell housing flames. 
that's how violent this thing was and it put a hole in the wing so i'm not trying to scare anybody here but what i'm trying to do is make sure that as a as a group that we we pay attention to all those little things um you know and that we have each other's back on everything that we do you know including after we warm it up and you know draining that fuel so let's try to like cover each other's backs you know to keep um first and foremost keep our drivers safe and then the other things keep ourselves safe while we're on the starting line and then the people that are you know around us all right folks we are ready for q1 so i'm gonna back up just a little bit so this run has been on the schedule for a long time as a eight o'clock tonight run well rain showers were definitely predicted so yesterday they moved us to a 130 run it is now 4 30 and it has been raining pretty much all day and we are about to roll up i'm about to go put my pajamas on go out here and see what we can do the racetrack will be probably tricky because of all the rain that has been on it they had it all ready to go rain came that usually makes the rubber come up but the thing about virginia motorsports park is it's one of the best flattest racetracks we go to we'll see what happens Alright guys, good starting spot, 378, what did it go, 311, is that what I heard? 311. 311, I felt it put, I think, a hole out towards the finish line down there, but... Oh, good. We'll take it, no complaints. Clean and dry. Oh yeah. Clean and dry. It, uh, it did get after the, the belt just a little bit, you can keep turning, there's another spot on there. And that's usually an indication that the engine put a hole out and it was ratcheting on that thing. I'm giving Blaine a workout. There they are, see the little fuzzies? So what that is, is the engine not running and it, it's ratcheting. It's running, but it's got one hole out that's not helping. Makes it kind of ratchet, beats on the teeth a little bit. Not the blower belt's fault, that's our fault. All good though, right down the racetrack uh, on a day that I didn't think we would get to make a run. It's good. It's right, so, you know, Kaylin come up with a nice plan and so, yeah, yeah, let's try it. So, you know, just because we're uh, low on the six groups, yeah. we, we went about it a different way. So, um, you know, just like initial, I always like thinking out loud that, like, um, you know, I think the track's really good. I got to get some weight on the back levers. We'll see if it wore a lot. All right, folks, we're here at Richmond. <laughs> we're still battling the rain a little bit. It's Saturday morning. We got some folks waiting on me here. But my I got, name, my I got, name is, is Christopher. Christopher is a good friend <laughs> and a big fan. Thank you for being here. Yes. 
<laughs> Who's your favorite race car driver? Clay Milliken. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Clay Milliken, this is my journey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now you're going to be in one of my YouTubes. Good. <laughs> Thank you. That's what's up. <laughs> kind of a surprise, but we are actually up here for Q2. I feel like I'll be. Still gloomy. It's been uh, a lot of crap flying around in the air, but here we go. Here we go. Light them up. What I'm talking about 73 at 320. Nice, good lap. I tore up Izzy's tires once again. Once again, I was uh pretty excited with that run, felt a little quiver in our shake zone. But uh, 3730 320 that is nice. 835 60 foot 211 298 at 289 at half track. That is a good run. I think that probably puts us in the top five right now. Third. No, Austin Proc oh, come behind us, went 67, so I think we might be fourth, but doesn't matter. We improved from yesterday. That's what we were trying to do. Good lap. Yeah, Ooh, that's stuck. weird. Yeah, stuck the tire in it and started going. That is a funny looking drive. Yeah, it's like number three went out down there. 942 feet from. <laughs> right on it. Probably costing us some speed. Yeah. That's okay. I missed the cackle fest. How's everybody doing? Everybody good? I like that hat you got on. Everybody doing good? Yes, sir. Tell everybody your name. Uh, Lewis Crockett. Lewis, nice to meet you. You don't care if I step over, do you? Uh, I always get on to people for stepping over mine. What's your name? I'm Trinity. Nice to meet you. How are you? Tell everybody your name. Y'all are y'all are making the YouTube right quick. What's your name? Hunter. I know one thing. Every car over here is shinier than mine. <laughs> How are you? Uh, What's Lewis. your name? Carter Jackson. Nice to meet you, Carter Jackson. Hang tight. How are you? Good. Tell everybody your name. I'm Samantha Bell. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Valerie. Thank y'all. Tell everybody what you come told me. Don't be shy. Don't be shy on YouTube. My number is 25. It's like this. Look, she didn't got it right here. It's the correct font. I like that, Trinity. That's awesome. And you really want me to sign your card? I do. All right. She didn't say write a book. <laughs> CRC brake cleaner, take that right off. <laughs> this YouTube video will come out probably Monday or Tuesday. I'm honored signing these cars. That's awesome. I love the junior, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all keep stomping on that loud pedal. <laughs> wow, we. It has been how many hours, you think, since we were run Q2? Uh, uh, six and a half now, yeah. Yeah. Six and a half. Feels like days. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm ready for nap, but I'm also getting <laughs> pumped up, so let's see. Yeah, this. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. You ready? Yeah. You ready for a nap? <laughs> So it's been a bit, but we are rolling up to three. We're currently setting number seven, our 373 from a while ago. See what we can do. It'll be interesting. Uh, the track obviously full prep again because it has been raining for hours. But we're ready, warmed up. Been warmed up for a while actually. Once about five minutes after we warmed up to start pouring again, but I'm excited. Time to go stomp on the loud pedal for two, three. talking 3.698 325 mile an hour check out that 60 foot 824 209 296 291 bam you didn't hurt my tires i didn't Let's hurt go. your tires but i did think i did hurt an I'm engine i'm trying to keep positive i did hurt an engine i think it hurt hurt the motor y'all uh but freaking monster run jimmo said if it feels good take it all the way John, it felt good. You, right. you took it all the way. I took it all the way. But I did feel the rattle when I stepped off the old uh, rod rattle. Not terrible. I, I want to. Yeah, gotcha. Rod's out. Yeah, gotcha. I want to. I want to. <laughs> I want to say it was the clutch locking up, but it, I'm pretty sure when I stepped off, it took a rod out, but pretty good dang run. Landon said, uh, he's like, did you get crazy down there? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's like, I did too. I figured you couldn't see. Like, oh, I couldn't right see either. Sun. I don't think Salinas could see the whole fucking track. It, it was bad. It yeah, was he was. Bad. He was all over. Yeah, he damn near hit the wall. Langdon said something. I got squirrely and he did too down there. Woo! Oh, we got two points out of it. And points count. Then baby points count. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kai Jr. Kai Jr. Hell, boy. Old Cockeye Junior. I told you those baby points count. And it, it appears as though it needs to go to quick lane oil change, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. what it was self draining. Not as much out of it as that oil out of it as I thought was the fucking drain. The pan is almost full. The drain pan. Yeah. We have yeah, there's... Josh Hart. Tomorrow. Yeah, I figured it until we ended up. Man, it was hard to see up there. Oh, I could not see. I couldn't see. I couldn't see your side. I could see the other side. I couldn't see your side. I am still going to say thank you, Jimmo, for absolutely making my way worth a... She quivered pretty good that time, bro. Yeah, I, I um, <laughs> I'm like, man, we can't just go out and shut it off. The boss has been waiting all day on his third match. <laughs> third, 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 four. Third, four, fifth. He's had his car running three or four times. He left once. Oh, really? Where'd you go? <laughs> I came over here before I left. Before I left, drive around. I followed the last instructions I got. What was it? If it feels good, go. Yep. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. 
Well, we got we got all our money's worth out of Concord Junior, didn't we? We did. <laughs> yeah, that's brand new set of rods. That's the only thing. Oh yeah. That's why I wanted to put in the other rods, the minus five. But yeah. well, maybe you only got one. It it hasn't got it way down there. Because it's after I stepped off. Rattle and shut off there for Antron. Clay goes 369. All right, Clay, welcome to the Cool Kids Club. He just put parts plus.